I'm thinking about this question that's just been posed me, and it may be something that you've run into as well, and that is when you try to make a case for your point of view about something relating to morality or to Christianity, uh, your point is dismissed because someone claims your argument is just a religious argument and therefore it's unreliable. And this is one of those points where I just get a little bit frustrated. I wish that people had better training in how to think. The standard reasons for dismissing an argument are that the argument is unsound, or that the argument has ambiguous features to it, or the uh, argument doesn't follow, uh, or there's some kind of um, fallacy, or that it's invalid in some particular way. Those are the ways that are appropriate for faulting arguments, that is, uh, uh, those are point of view, points of views that are supported by a line of thinking. You look at the line of thinking and you might dismiss it legitimately for some of those reasons. But that an argument is religious, and I'm not entirely sure what that means. It might mean that you're uh, relying on a religious authority, it might mean that you're following a theological train of thought or something along that line. But in any event, apart from the ambiguity of that challenge itself, the fact that an argument is religious has nothing to do with whether the argument is sound or unsound, valid or invalid, uh, follows from the evidence, ambiguous, or any of those other things that would legitimately disqualify a line of thinking. And so I guess I get frustrated because I don't want to be unkind to the person who raises this issue, but at the same time I realize this person <clears throat> does not know how thinking works. And it makes me wonder how many mistakes in thinking they have done or they have made through dismissing points of view for foolish reasons. That an argument is religious is no good reason, no rational reason, no sound reason to reject it. There are all kinds of scientific arguments that are just bad ones, don't follow from the evidence, um, are unsound, invalid, ambiguous, and those kinds of things. Uh, just because it's scientific doesn't make it a good argument, and just because something is religious doesn't make it a bad argument. Arguments are good or bad based on other reasons, and those reasons have to do with how careful thinking works. So I guess it, it kind of to pull it together, once you understand that, if somebody assails you with this challenge to your view, oh, that's a religious argument, maybe it's helpful for you to ask this question, and therefore what? Therefore what? <laughs> what follows from your observation that it's a religious argument? Now, I know what they think follows, that somehow it's not a good one. It's not fair, it's not legitimate. But they have to show that, they can't just presume that. And they certainly aren't going to show that just on the basis of it being religious. They're going to have to do a little bit more work, and that's what you should ask them to do.